Hey guys, this is Future Haven coming to remind you to like the video because that lets the YouTube algorithm know that you like my stuff. And the more you guys like it, the more YouTube will suggest it for other people. So if you haven't yet, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. All right, back to the video. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another video. Uh, the, yeah, this is the Ron Swanson uh, Pyramid of Greatness poster from Parks and Rec. Six bucks on Amazon. A little bit of a different video today. I have a Mossberg 535 12 gauge. It misfired. I have never had that happen before. I've probably put, I would say, close to 500, maybe 600 rounds through this shotgun and haven't really had an issue at all. I've had one, maybe two jams with it where after I pull the trigger, my um, my pump will lock up, but you tug it and it's fine. But this was actually a misfire, and after looking at the shell, after not going near it for a very long time, I saw that it seems to be light striking. That means that your firing pin isn't hitting your primer hard enough to make it ignite. I just see a little tiny dent in there, and that is not safe at all. So right when that happened, I haven't shot it since then except to test it to make sure that it wasn't my ammunition. And I did it right by a pond so that when it misfired, I leave it in the gun just in case it goes off, always keeping it pointed in a safe direction. And after I feel a safe amount of time had passed, I eject it into the water because I'm not going to have my face blown off. It's a very dangerous situation. Have not shot it since. It's been sitting here in my gun safe all by its lonesome. Not by its It has lots of friends in there, but you know what I mean. But I called the gun store where I purchased this from, and it sounds like the manufacturer will uh, fix it for, I'm assuming, free. I hope it's free. So we have it in the hard case. This is the uh, Mossberg 535. I thought it was a 500, but apparently it's the 535. It says on here. Cover up the serial number. I don't know if that's something that you can show people. But that says Mossberg. Oh, that's not the serial number. That's what I have to show you. I don't know if you can see that. It says Mossberg. North Haven. North Haven? My name's Haven. Wow. Connecticut, USA, 535, 12 gauge. So this is the gun. I like the wood look. I do. I don't like the gold trigger. I don't know why it has a gold trigger. It's kind of fancy. It's like I wanted to show off a little bit, but I couldn't do gold everything. But I could afford a gold trigger. So I'm going to bring it in in a hard case with the slide locked back so that they can see the ejector port to confirm that it is. Uh, unloaded before they send me back to the gun counter. We're gonna go ahead, hop in the truck. We're gonna go see if we can't get this fixed. Shotgun, broken, in a case, going to Jay's, gonna get it fixed. Don't know how long it's gonna be. Could be a couple weeks, maybe a month. Not sure, but we gotta get the gears going in this so I can go shoot skeet with the boys on Saturdays. Cause Saturdays are for the boys. I maybe put 10 rounds through it since the last time I cleaned it. But I took the takedown pin out, but my trigger assembly won't even come out of the housing. Well, do you want to come with me? I know you like to buy you, you like to buy hunting stuff a lot. So no, okay. I'll see if Zach wants to come with me. I don't want to drive all alone. Okay, bye. Also, who's asleep at twelve thirty on a Sunday? I would be if it was my day off. First, I need socks. Black. You might notice that I have uh, eye hooks on my sock drawer because there was a time I had to padlock my sock drawer so that my siblings wouldn't steal my socks. Only people with lots of siblings understand. It's a serious problem. Wow, look at that mug. Look at that foxy foxy stainless steel super ultra durable travel mug. Society6.com slash Haven to Zoo Art. That's where you can get that. I draw things if you didn't know. Go link in, link in the dupe, link in, links in the, links in the doobly doo below. See, that's what a good strike looks like. What we were getting was just a tiny little tick on that primer, and that's not good. And the reason that's bad is that if you have a soft strike or a light strike on your primer, it might not go off right away, but if you get right in that Goldilocks zone, it's possible that you'll strike it and won't go off and you'll eject the shell and either while it's going through the air right next to your face because your ejection port is pretty much on your right cheek depending how you shoot that can explode in the air or on the ground if you're not careful and you don't pay attention when you're shooting so 
that's a good tip if you're ever shooting uh, skeet or if you're hunting and you hear a click take a second don't go eject the shell right away because it might 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 explode and make you a, a head amputee M15 party store. I'm thirsty. Well, I'm gonna get me an Arnold Palmer. Got our drinks. What happened right when I turned the camera off? What's that? Missed a chance to hit a woodchuck. We saw a woodchuck, came out of the culvert. Could have shot it with my shot. Oh, wait. It it's broken. Work. <laughs> I promise if we see another woodchuck, I'll let you guys see it. Guys, we just saw another woodchuck. I told you guys we'd show you another woodchuck if we saw one, but this one was a dead woodchuck on the road. So I'm sorry we didn't show you the woodchuck. It was it was a dead one. I'm sorry. I promise if we see another woodchuck, we will show you the woodchuck, even if it's dead. I promise. Guys, we saw another woodchuck. This one was also dead. I'm just gonna stop promising you guys because I keep breaking my promise. We can't show them to you, I'm sorry. If you came here for the woodchucks, you came to the wrong place. We are at Jay's Sporting Goods. Um, I thought I got lost, but the GPS on my phone is all messed up, so we use Kenda's phone. So we're gonna take in my firearm. It is in the case with the action locked back so that the, uh, what do you call it, ejection port is open so they can see that it's unloaded. But we're gonna check it in with the ladies at the front desk first, that's what they told us, and then they'll approve for us to go back to the uh, gun counter. And then it sounds like they were going to test fire it, confirm what the issue is, and then send it into Mossberg if it's a serious issue that Mossberg will deal with. Bad news, it's broke. No, I'm kidding, it's good, it's fine. So we brought it in and checked it at the front counter and then brought it back to the back counter after they put like a tag on it to say that it was safe and it was unloaded. So we got back there. He took it back. He worked on it for probably, I'd say 20 minutes, yeah. if not half an hour. Came back out and um, I'll show you exactly, uh, when we get home, exactly what the problem was. But it was a simple fix, uh, long story short. And they didn't charge me a dime, so. That was nice of them. I was like, what do nice I owe you? And he's like, nothing. And I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, just buy a pop on your way out. So I didn't buy a pop, but I did buy two uh, two uh, Air 15 magazines because I wanted more magazines, you know, just for freedom insurance. I'm happy. That was I was afraid we were gonna have to send it into Mossberg and that something awful was gonna happen. But he just had to fix a pin on it that had worked its way out a little bit, and now it works fine. So we'll uh, go to home snap my fingers we'll go home and i'll show you exactly what the issue is ready here we go boom youtube magic boys and girls this smoked pepper jack cheese is the best thing that has ever graced mankind do you guys want some go ahead really good right mm, so good anyways let me get a little pin to pop our pin out i was going to take it apart so i could see what the issue was but just pop that pin out all right take this pin out and this is as far as I got so when I had it this is as far as a trigger assembly would come out it would come out about this far and then it wouldn't come out anymore so the issue is this pin right in there that bar is the pin and right at the bottom that's part of the spring the spring goes in this hole and this is the retention pin that keeps it compressed so what had happened is this pin had walked itself out about halfway 
causing the spring to wrap around it and extend, which meant that the spring didn't have enough uh, compression on it to hit the primer hard enough to fire the gun. Right here, you can kind of see it chewed up the wood a little bit, but it pressed into the wood, preventing me from taking out the whole trigger assembly. So now that that pin is back in there and it is compressing the trigger spring, he test fired it, he said eight times, works fine, like a charm. Didn't charge me a dime. So now to put it back in, just line up the grooves and put your pin in. Boop. And we're good to go. My shotgun works now, so I can go shoot skeet. I'm super happy. So uh, I bought two AR-15 magazines. Paid for my gun repair that way. I'm really appreciative to the guys down at Jay's. Thank you, Jay's, for fixing that. Look how nice she looks. Fully functioning, lovely gun. With that said, guys, that's about all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching the video. Go check out all my other videos. I have like 20 now, I think, quite a bit. If you haven't yet, this is a great opportunity to like the video and to leave a comment below. Subscribe also so you don't miss my videos when they come out and hit notifications. Just kidding, video's not over. We are gonna go and shoot some clay pigeons to christen this newly uh, repaired firearm. I just have to find something to fix the clay pigeon thrower with this guy and this guy and the mini vice grip. Hello peepers. Hater's gonna hate, peeper's gonna peep. All right, let's go. All right, the mosquitoes are absolutely deadly out here, so we gotta make this quick. Big bumblebee over there. You know I don't like bees. I'm okay with them as long as they leave me alone. Wow. Ah, oh, mosquito! I'm afraid the mosquitoes have found us. Make sure you always wear you're dirty. Always remember to wear ear protection so you can't hear the scream so you don't lose your hearing. That one. Got Nope. Abort. Redo. I read somewhere that mosquitoes follow the carbon dioxide that you exhale to find you. So, is my ear broken? Why won't let this not go in? There we go. Goodness. It's like Mission Impossible up in here. So I got a little GoPro mount on my shotgun. So hopefully you'll be able to see some first person uh, view of me smoking some clays. So I'm going to transfer you onto that uh, barrel mount. All right guys, you got a uh, first person view now. Uh, no selfie mode. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Well, let's, let's see how this goes. Right, we're ready to go. You're ready. I don't know if you saw that, but I smoked it. I did notice that the focus was off a little bit. I'll keep the camera pointed up so it's in focus when I shoot, but that first shot was pretty lucky. I don't know if that's gonna happen again, but let's go for one more. Ready? Got it! Maybe we'll just, I think we'll just set up a few on the ground. Obviously, you are not seeing where I'm putting them because I'm not going to point a shotgun at my face. We're going for the left guy. I can't even see it on my sights. All right, ready? Smoked it. Smoked it. Anyways, guys, that is us shooting the newly repaired. You're all dirty again. That is us shooting the newly repaired Mossberg 535. So glad that works and that they were able to find out what's wrong with it. Thank you everybody at Jays again for helping me out with that and not charging me a dime, guys. You guys rock. If you haven't yet, guys, please like and subscribe. All that good stuff. That lets YouTube know that you guys like my videos and it will be more likely to recommend them to other people who have not yet seen them. Also, for the true fans out there, if you want to help support the channel, Patreon is where you can go. I only have one tier on there at the moment of one dollar per month so that's a way that you can support me as well as liking and subscribing and all that good stuff and if you didn't know i'm also an artist and i have my art on all sorts of things over at society6.com slash haven does you art i'll type that in the comments or put it in the description thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys on the next one look how green it is oh it's so nice stay tuned for more videos coming soon Oh, also, teaser.
Guys, I just bought a drone. So I'm gonna do some cool stuff with that coming up as well. I just got, I just have to learn how to fly it good enough still.